find horizontal asymptotes and we are given three functions here these are three rational functions and you need to find equation of horizontal asymptotes for these three functions the method which I am going to discuss today will actually help you to find equation for horizontal asymptote for any equation in general so that's the beauty of this method and I hope you will really appreciate it now a few things to consider a rational function basically is a ratio of two polynomials a polynomial in numerator and a polynomial in denominator polynomial has a degree degree is the highest power for example the degree of numerator here is 2 here it is 2 again highest power is 2 here the degree is 4 denominator degree is 3 2 and 2 respectively of these functions as you can see degree of denominator is one higher than the numerator here in this case the degrees are same for both numerator and denominator and in this case degree of numerator is higher than that of denominator and that is kind of important for us to note when we are trying to find equation for horizontal asymptote right so our discussion will actually be based on this degree so let us say that degree be n for numerator and let it be d for denominator in general right so let that be the degree so now what is the degree of numerator here so we say n here is actually 2 and d here denominator degree is 3 here, right in this case degree of numerator is 2 and that of denominator is also 2 in this case numerator degree is 4 and degree of denominator is 2 right so these are the degrees as you see here in this case n actually is less than d right in this case n is equals to d and in this case n numerator degree is higher than the denominator degree so these are three different cases right only three cases are possible correct and it doesn't really matter by how much the degree is higher or lower right you will appreciate when we discuss the method now let's see what is a horizontal asymptote say horizontal asymptote is behavior of curve when x approaches positive or negative infinity so basically horizontal asymptote is if I say x approaches minus infinity then what happens to y does it approach a value if it approaches a value let us say it approaches a value a in that case I have a horizontal asymptote and my horizontal asymptote will be y equals to a that is how it is defined now if x approaches positive infinity and in that case we see what does y approach if y approaches a value let us say b in that case equation of horizontal asymptote will be y equals to b most of the time you will see a and b are same but it is not always true we'll have a lot of examples in which they will be different correct if horizontal asymptote e exists there are cases when one side horizontal asymptote may exist but still it is a horizontal asymptote right now we will actually see behavior of these curves as x approaches plus or minus infinity and then find whether the function approaches a value or not if it approaches a value it has a horizontal asymptote and that value which it approaches where it is never there is the horizontal asymptote correct so that is the kind of concept with which we will develop the whole strategy of finding horizontal asymptotes right now one more important thing which I would like to share with you here is when I say that x is approaching infinity that means what it is a very very large number and therefore numbers like 1, 2, 100, 1000 these are very small numbers right if x approaches in infinity then numbers like 100, 1000 and all those things they are very very small as compared to infinity do you understand so when we are saying x approaches infinity in that case this equation can be written as just 3x square because 3x square is way larger than minus 1 imagine x is 1000 let's not go to the infinity if it is thousand three zeros right 
so 3x square will be 3000 thousand do you see that 3 million 3 million is such a big number as compared to 1 that you can forget about 1 do you see that so this function approximates to the x values do you understand so the other term becomes negligible so when we say x approaches infinity then we can write our rather rewrite our equation now as f of x equals 2 in this case I can write this as 3x square over 4x cube now it is not this it is very close to this that is why we are saying horizontal asymptote when very close let me write approximately now it satisfies you I think so right now if you see x is very large correct and this can be simplified as equals to 3 over 4 and x square cancels and we have x now in the denominator if x is very large then this value actually approaches 0 right something over very large approaches 0 since it approaches 0 we have a horizontal asymptote and in this case what is the equation of horizontal asymptote so in this case our horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0 do you see that as x approaches negative infinity or positive infinity in this case your function approaches 0 anything divided by a large number will be 0 therefore horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0 right in general if the degree of denominator is higher if it is higher it doesn't really depend on these numbers right if this is higher you are approaching 0 and horizontal asymptote is 0 so in general we can always write that if numerator degree is lower than denominator in that case I have a horizontal asymptote and equation will be y equals to 0 always correct so as soon as you see the degree you can write down your answer and the answer is you know y equals to 0 now let's consider this in this function as x approaches positive or negative infinity a large number then these numbers are small and I can therefore write f of x equals to 3 over x square over minus over 4x square. Do you see the minus 4x square? It is important to consider minus here, right? Now, x square x square cancels and we get this is approximate, right? We get approximately 3 over minus 4. You see, the function is approaching 3 over minus 4. Now it is approaching minus 3 over 4, correct? Therefore, we have a horizontal asymptote here and the equation is y equals to minus 3 over 4 do you see that that is how we get equation of horizontal asymptote you can see it is ratio of leading coefficients so in this case we have a horizontal asymptote where y is 3 over minus 4 right so we can write this I will write 3 over minus 4 in this case as minus here but you can see it is ratio of leading coefficients right now if I change this equation let me write this equation here I'm using this space uh, for this particular equation if I write a general equation that fx equals to let us say px square minus 1 or let it be 100 how does it matter or and I write q x square plus 10 for example then what is my horizontal asymptote in this case it will be p over q since x square terms are far bigger than these and the ratios of coefficients becomes horizontal asymptote when degree of numerator and denominator is same so that is my general statement and this is for example 2 correct so whenever in a rational function degree of numerator and denominator is same horizontal asymptote equation is ratio of leading coefficients now last case which is degree of numerator higher now in this case my f of x approaches what it approaches approximately 3 x to the power of 4 over x square correct now this could be written as 3 x square because x to the power of 4 cancel now if x is large this is also large correct now if x approaches infinity then f of x also approaches infinity a large number so in this particular case we are not approaching a defined value so in this case horizontal asymptote does not exist 
So if the degree of numerator is higher, horizontal asymptote does not exist. Correct? So we have come to the conclusion that if the degrees are if the degree of numerator is lesser than horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0. If the degrees are equal then it is ratio of leading coefficients and if the degree of numerator is higher in that case horizontal asymptote does not exist and this is a universal law which will apply always right so as an exercise let me give you set of questions here and just write down their horizontal asymptotes right so my functions are y equals to 5x to the power of 7 minus 3 over 10x to the power of 9 let me write plus 1 write down horizontal asymptote and then let me write another function as 10x to the power of 5 plus 6 over 5 minus x to the power of 5. So write down horizontal asymptote for this one. And last, let me give you y equals to 2x plus 1. Write down horizontal asymptote for this one, right? Now this is kind of tricky, okay? But you see, degree of numerator is higher, right? You can take denominator as 1, degree, it is like x to the power of 0. Think about it, right? So get your answers and then let's see whether a graph of a function can cross horizontal asymptote or not in the next video. I hope you are enjoying the process. Thanks a lot.